What's going on guys, it's uh, Ophir Be Strong here, and uh, I got a review on the new quest slash fire cape that came out today. Um, basically there's a new quest, minigame, and there's graphical rework. Now this is the post on the forums by Mod Adam, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, so the new fight cave, if you want to call it that, is now the Elder Killin. Um, in order to get to the Elder Killin, you need to have completed the quest, and you need to have sacrificed your fire cape. Now, fire cape, I meaning your old fire cape. There's an uh, old fire cape, but there's a new fire cape. Um, the requirements for the quest, you have to be a member. It's 75 magic, 60 agility, 41 mining, and you must be able to defeat multiple any enemies up to level 365. Um, you need a pickaxe, basically a rune or dragon, to defeat these, or break these armadillos, uh, I guess you can call it shielding or uh, skin. I don't know, I guess armadillos have really thick skin. Um, so yeah, the Elder Killing is the quest, and then the pit is called the Fight Killing, and that's like where you actually have to go through 37 waves to, um, you know, get this cape. The cape is called the Takar Kal. Um, it gives 8 strength bonus, and it's the only cape in RuneScape that gives 8 strength bonus. Um, it's available to members only, and you, have to do, you can get it and wear it after you complete the Elder Killing, which is the quest. Um, then other than that the, all the questing and the city rework is basically like the graphical updates and stuff So like the czar pits you can enter them through the Krumja cave or you could just you know uh, Actually, that's the only way you could actually get there So if you go down to the Krumja cave, you know where you actually fight Jad for the first time That's where it's at. They did a lot of graphical rework down there And yeah, I watched a couple videos on it And I do have one up in my tab bar that has a pretty neat picture of the new fire cape um, I'll give you my opinion on it. I think it looks pretty crappy, shitty, whatever you want to call it. Um, I honestly, I, I would choose the other fire cape over this one any day. Um, if, it's sacri if it means sacrificing the couple strength bonus, I mean, I don't really care. This cape really does not, it doesn't satisfy me. It's, I mean, they, they, they had so much, um, what the hell is this cape popping up for? They had so much anticipation, you know, for this cape, and they made it sound like it was going to be a huge update, like, something that, you know, like, Constitution, like, back then, like, a big update, but, I mean, this is kind of just another one of the little shitty updates that they usually have. Um, I'll give this, like, a 2 out of 5 star. I, I really don't like the update. I think it's, I mean, I guess the quest is okay. I did watch an overview of the quest, which, is, the quest line is pretty cool, but when it comes time to the actual fight killing, I just, it doesn't really catch my attention. It's not something that I would actually enjoy doing, um, let alone do it. I mean, it actually looks really hard for you combat people that haven't done it yet. It's actually, like, it's it's ten times harder than, you know, the actual fight cave. That's my overlook on it. If this pops up one more time, I'm going to flip out. Um, so, yeah, for you f combat people, watch out whenever you first try. Go look up a guide real quick or wait a couple days so there's a couple good guides up on YouTube. Because from what I see, even like the main comp people and the main YouTube people, like Rune Shark and uh, <clears throat> you know the other people, they're actually having trouble doing this. No one can even find like the right gear set up, even with like Pernix or Virtus and uh, Torva and stuff like that. So I'd suggest waiting a couple days, looking up a guide, finding the right gear set up and the right inventory set up, and then trying it out. But um, yeah, I'm gonna pause this for a second and I'm gonna get up a pretty good picture of the new cape. Alright, so there's a picture of the cape. Um, so from the looks of it, it looks kind of jaggedy. Uh, it comes down to a point. So basically it's like one, two, three, four, five, five little triangles pointing downward on top of each other. Now, in my opinion, the cape looks like shit. I can honestly say it's the most ugly. It's like the ugliest cape out of all the capes. I'd rather wear a team cape. Um, the attack bonuses and defense bonuses and the other bonuses, they're all pretty good. This one actually gives some prayer, 2 plus prayer, 8 plus strength bonus, uh, 12 plus stab, 12 plus slash, 12 plus crush, 12 plus magic, and 12 plus range, and 12 plus defense to summon a, um, the attack bonuses on it are t plus 3 to stab, slash, crush, magic, and range. So um, the stats are good, but the overlook of the cape, I can't really say I like it. Um, so yeah, that's my opinion on the cape. 
So I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, you guys can comment below and tell me what you think about the update and the cape overall. Uh, this will not be something I will ever get, probably, until, you know, I actually have the gear and or set up to do. Um, so level 138s with, yeah, I can't even do this right now, so I can guarantee you me with, like, full armadillo and a tort would not be able to do this. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the update. I'm sorry if you didn't like it. I just wanted to get it out there because, I mean, there's not many videos from what I could see. I mean, I saw, like, maybe five or six videos, but I just wanted to get, like, the basic update up. Uh, a lot of the videos were just people, you know, um, doing the fight kill or whatever. So I just wanted to get the major update out there. Uh, it's the quest, the cape, and some graphical rework. So uh, I'm going to give this an overall 2 out of 5. Two, 2 out of 5 stars. That's my opinion on it. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I will talk to you guys next video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And see ya.